you must have at some point bought something that looked perfectly fine maybe your favorite chips or spices you use has you use at home for cooking only to realize it's not what it seems frustrating right well sometimes people mess with our food on purpose and that's called food adulteration it is dangerous to consume adulterated food and should be completely avoided so what exactly is food adulteration it is when someone intentionally adds removes or replaces something in food to either make it look better or save money this could mean removing an important component from the food or mixing it with low quality inedible or cheaper substances or it could be mixing of harmful color with the food for example instead of using proper oil if reused oil or a cheaper low quality oil is used that is adulteration adding harmful colors to make food look more appealing is another common type of adulteration and there are even worse cases like mixing small stones fine sand iron fillings urea horse dung or sawdust into food products yes shocking right it is shocking and it is very common as well these adulteration can mess with our bodies in different ways some might cause a stomach ache or food poisoning it's going to be very bad while consuming adulterated food over time can lead to serious illness but don't get scared in this video we'll explore how to spot adulterated food and keep ourselves safe let's get started now let's talk about the, one of the most common type of adulteration that is adulteration in milk and guess what the most common adulterant in milk is yep it's water but how do we figure out if milk has been adulterated don't worry there is a simple test that you can try at home here is what you do place a drop of milk on the glass slide incline the slide to the to let the drop spread and observe carefully this is what you likely would have observed and if the spread of the mark on the milk does not appear milky white like the one on the right side then water has been added to it which means it's an adulterated milk not good to use but if the spread appears milky white like the one on the left then the milk is unadulterated milk pure safe to use pretty easy test right yeah this is quick and handy way to check the quality of milk at home now let's see how to check for adulteration in chili powder yes chili powder is another commonly adulterated food item and any guess what the most common adulterant is any guesses it's something red and powdery yes it is brick dust it may sound funny but also shocking right brick dust is mixed into chili powder to make it look more vibrant and to increase the weight and save some money but guess what it's not spicy anymore and it's definitely harmful to your health so how do we find out if chili powder is adulterated with brick dust well here is a simple test take a spoonful of chili powder to glass of water and observe carefully you will probably see either of the two now if you see a red layer settled at the bottom that is the right one it means chili powder has been adulterated with brick dust and if there is no red layer at the bottom then congratulations your chili powder is unadulterated and safe to use it's a quick and easy way to ensure that your food is safe and free from harmful adulterants adulterants now let's figure out how turmeric powder can be adulterated one of the most common adulterants in turmeric powder is a chemical called methanyl yellow as the name suggests it is yellow in color making it easy to mix with turmeric without being noticed remember having chemical in our food is never good for health so how do we find out if turmeric is adulterated or not here is a simple test take a pinch of turmeric in a test tube add small quantity of water and shake well and add few drops of concentrated hydrochloric acid observe carefully now this is the solution of turmeric in water and when you add hydrochloric acid the mixture turns red and the red color does not disappear means the turmeric has been adulterated with methanyl yellow however on adding the hydrochloric acid the mixture turns red and in some time it turns back into yellow then we can say that it is an unadulterated turmeric powder safe to use simple right the steps helps ensure that the turmeric you're using is free from harmful chemicals and uh, safe for cooking
So let's move on to our final adulteration test that is finding adulteration in rava powder. And what do you think is the most common adulterant in rava? It's iron filings. Can you believe that? It's shocking, right? Yes, and of course it is very harmful to our health. So how do we check if there are iron filings in rava? It is actually simple. Take a magnet and pass through the rava powder. Observe the magnet carefully. If you see if you see iron filings sticking to the magnet, that means the rava is adulterated. It is not safe to use. And if there are no iron filings on the magnet, that means the rava is unadulterated and is safe to use. This is a quick and easy way to check the quality of rava and ensure it's safe for consumption.